this is my computer. It's um, the most recent, most updated Windows 7 computer. It's protected by state-of-the-art security. Not only does it have the standard Windows administrator password, but it's got a fingerprint reader, an enabled trusted platform module, and full disk encryption. You can see this screen here. All the screen lights on the screen indicate that this PC is fully protected. This means that I can rest easy knowing that if my computer should be lost or stolen, all my secret data is protected. Um, it doesn't come in this state. It actually took about me about an hour to set up. I'm going, ahead, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the computer. So it's like you're going through an airport and your computer is off. Now what I've done is I've placed a hacking tool in this USB memory stick. The, the hacking tool is called Comboot. Now I'm going to go ahead and plug this into my USB port of this computer. I'll turn the, the PC is currently off. I'll turn it back on. What this does is that the PC will now boot from the USB memory stick instead of its internal hard disk. So it's saying it's booting for com starting com boot. So I'll instruct it to crack the Windows password. For those computers that can't boot from USB, com boot is also available on CD. So Combo is actually a legitimate piece of software made for IT professionals. IT staff are often tasked with repairing computers that they don't have the passwords for. Combo allows them to bypass the Windows password screen with any password. We're going to have to uh, wait a few minutes here for the computer to boot. So what's going to come up next is the Windows password screen. At that screen, I'll be asked to either uh, put, swipe my fingerprint or to type in my password. And here it is. This is the standard password screen for this computer. So I'm going to go ahead and select uh, the password to enter a password. Uh, it says here, enter the password. I'm going to go ahead and type in a random sequence of keys. Here we go. And press enter. We can now wait for Windows to boot. This may take a few moments. Once booted, all my local files and folders are available for viewing, copying, emailing, and so forth. My, my passwords are still in the computer and, and they, don't, they aren't necessarily available, but all my files are still available. It does seem that my disk encryption is tied to my Windows password. So if I bypass the Windows password, I bypass the encryption as well. So here we are. Let's try to read my files. Well, it looks like I was not as protected as I thought I was. Thanks for your time.